we're going to explain how to activate Office 365 using the command prompt, CMD. This method isn't the standard way, and Microsoft generally recommends using their graphical installer, but it's useful to know, especially for troubleshooting or automation. Keep in mind that this method requires you to already have the Office 365 installer downloaded and ready. You'll also need administrative privileges to run the CMD commands. Let's get started. 1. Locate the setup file. First, you need to find the Office 365 setup executable file. This is usually a file named something like write single quote setup.exe write single quote or similar. Note the exact path to this file. We'll need it in the next step. Let's say, for example, it's located at C downloads office setup.exe. 2. Open command prompt as administrator. Search for CMD in the Windows search bar. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. This is crucial because you need administrative rights to successfully install and activate Office 365. 3. Navigate to the setup file directory. Once the command prompt is open, you need to navigate to the directory where you save the Office 365 setup file. You can do this using the cd command. Using our example path, you would type cdc, downloads, and press enter. Then type cd office setup.exe write, single quote, if the setup file is in a subfolder called office setup.x, you would put the correct subfolder name after cd. If your path is different, adjust it accordingly. 4. Run the setup file from CMD. Now, type the following command, replacing C downloads office setup.x with the actual path to your setup file, C downloads office setup, xe slash configure, your underscore product underscore key. Replace your underscore product underscore key with your actual Office 365 product key. You will find your product key in the email or confirmation documentation associated with your Office 365 purchase. Press enter to start the installation process. 5. Follow on-screen instructions. The installation process will begin. It will likely ask you to accept the license agreement and may show you a progress bar. It's important to follow the on-screen instructions to successfully install and activate Office 365. There might be some options to choose your installation location and other preferences that will appear during the process. 6. Activation Check Once the installation is complete, Office 365 should be activated automatically using the product key you provided. Verify the activation by opening any Office application, like Word or Excel, and checking that your license is valid within the application's settings. 7. Troubleshooting If you encounter any errors, double-check the path to your setup file, ensure your product key is correct, and verify that you are running the command prompt as an administrator. You can also consult Microsoft's support website for further assistance with specific error codes that may appear. Remember, this CMD method is not always the easiest and might not work under all circumstances. If you experience difficulties, you may find it easier to use the standard Office 365 installer through the graphical interface.